Right, Lofty. It's going to yeah. rain and the football's on, but you're happy and cheerful. Right. Cheerful. Oh, of course, yeah. Football's coming home, isn't it? And all that as well. Then we're at Toaster for the semi finals of the Grand Derby. What's not to love in life? What are you expecting this evening? Uh, I'm not sure, really. Probably a little bit negative on how busy it might be again with the football. And they could have, you know, maybe could have switched to Derby Heats and run them earlier, but apparently that was at the mercy of the, the GBG being of SIS. So. Obviously, the uh, the paymasters, the bookmakers, paymasters come first before the uh, the logic of running the Derby Farm was early on, maybe. So let's see what happens anyway. There's a few, might be a few people here later on. I mean, people are here if they're not out, regardless, they are showing the football inside. So hopefully, the uh, the football stroke ground fraternity might get a bit of cross reference. They might not be too bad after all. Okay, no, Loft, you're an old school bookie. Have you had your race card out and circled a couple of dogs and scribbled get? Uh, not really, no, I've been fancy one dog particularly tonight, but in the uh, the first Derby semi-final, quite sweet on um, Bally Mac Fair one in Trap 4. I just thought he was really well drawn tonight, he'll trap better I think from Trap 4. Show speed from Trap 1 last week, I think his main market rival, the odds on flavour DJ Sydney, he's got a, a trickier draw in Trap 1, because Trap 1's not the ideal place to be around toast, I'm thinking. Although he has one from Trap 1 before, and he's the only unbeaten, only unbeaten dog so far in the semi-final of Derby. But to me, I think he'd be the one to take on in that race, not saying quite sweet on Bally Mac Fair one there, Trap 4 in that first semi-final. Excellent, well good luck Loft and keep smiling. Thank you Simon, of course I am.